Assalamu alaikum and a very good morning. In this video, we will show you how to perform fascia iliaca compartment block as an analgesic modality for hip trauma. There are two approaches for this block. The first one is infrainguinal, lateral to medial approach, and the second one is supraingual caudal capillate approach. In this video, we will show you supraingual approach with direct longitudinal axis technique. Patient in supine position. First, we identify anterior superior iliac spine laterally. Place an index finger immediately medial to the axis. Align a high frequency linear transducer immediately next to this finger with the caudal end of transducer just above the inguinal ligament. Alignment of this transducer should be superior medial to inferior lateral from cranial to caudal. We are using Stimulplex Ultra 360 80mm needle using in-plane approach. Here, the needle already pierced the first fascia which is fascia lata. Now the needle is approaching fascia iliaca. This is the sonor anatomy that we need to identify. The most superficial fascia is fascia lata. Just beneath this is fascia iliaca. DCIA, deep circumflex iliac artery, lies above <laughs> fascia iliaca and iliacus muscle lies below it. Two muscles you need to identify are the internal oblique and soterius muscles at the both ends. Ilium is identified as rounded, hyperechoic rim with hypoechoic shadow below it. Some describe this as bow tie sign. Both ends of the bow tie represents the muscle. On the capillate side is internal oblique and on the caudal side is the soterius. So here, we can see that the needle already pierced the fascia lata, which is the first fascia. Now, the needle is just above the fascia iliaca. Once we feel a pop, then we are sure that we are in the fascia iliaca compartment. Once we are here, we aspirate and make sure there is no blood. If it's clear, we are going to inject our LA. We are using raw pivacaine 0.2% 20 ml of volume. We can use up to 40 ml as long as it does not exceed the toxic dose. So here, we are going to inject our LA. As you can see, the LA spreads very nicely towards cranially. And if the spread more cranially, then there is possibilities it will spread to the lumbar plexus. Okay, so there, there is some space created by the LA, so we are going to dive in a little bit our needle and we inject some more LA into that space. So now we are going to check the spread of our LA. We put back our transducer along the inguinal ligament and we identify the femoral vessels, femoral nerves, and the fascia iliaca. So, the LA, there is some LA in the compartment. So, thank you.